Hi, I'm Murthy. Welcome to my channel. You may wonder what kind of notes and technique I am using to create this type of effect on guitar. I played nothing but a major scale, but uh, in the manner of Carnatic tradition, which is Indian classical music. Today, I'm going to discuss some techniques to uh, create this type of a vibes on guitar fretboard. This particular raga or scale we call as a Dhira Shankara Varnam, commonly known as a Shankara Varnam in Carnatic music. This particular raga is 29th number on table of Malakartha ragas. So, major scale and Shankarabhanam are these both are same? I can say yes. Notes wise, ascending, descending wise, both are same. But the way we communicate in Western and Carnatic music can be completely different. Here, I like to go a little bit Western theory for the major scale format or Shankarabhanam format because I'm going to make this on single string playing. So single string playing is very important in the Carnatic music. So you may already know about the major scale structure. Two whole note, one half note, three whole note, another half note. So for the beginners, I'm going to explain what is the whole note and half note. So whole note basically means from the point of the note, for example, on the second fret, um, from the point of note to the next second fret we call as a whole step movement. From the second fret to the fourth fret, if I'm moving, that is a whole step. For example, if I'm on fourth fret, so sixth fret, if I'm moving, there is a whole step. From the fifth fret to the seventh fret, it is a whole step movement. Half step basically means the immediate fret movement we call as a half step movement. If I'm on second fret, if I'm moving to the third fret, there is a half step movement. So again, two whole step, one half step, three whole steps, another half step. So here, I'm taking G as a root note. So G I'm taking on third string open. You already know G is that open string. So from here, I like to move this particular structure. So G from the open to the whole step is second fret. So G is a zero fret. So one and two, so that's the whole step. So from here, again, the whole step and half step. So first half of the structure is two whole step, one half step, from the open, whole step, whole step and half step so from there three whole step another half step so from here whole step whole step whole step half step so again i'll play all this together so root note whole step whole step whole step half step so this only you can memorize as sa re ga ma pa da ni sa so one should definitely practice these particular notes on single string a lot because these note points are very very important one must have to memorize for example this is the root note so you should know where is a pa so you have to practice such a way then only we can move to the further techniques easily if you observe i am using my index and middle finger as a scoop and moving I exactly don't know like what is the exact name for this particular kind of a technique. Like you can often see this particular technique from Indian classical players such as Veena, Sitar, Violin, Mandolin. These instruments player usually they use this two finger type of a movement. Like so basically it gives a very good strength when you are moving. You can use your third finger also but um, you don't feel very strength i can still play but i don't i'm not feeling very good strength actually you can use third and fourth finger but different type of a techniques for example if i'm playing very plain note so like when i'm when i'm using like plain notes i can definitely use this but when when sliding and everything this this Scoop technique is very, very important. So one should develop this technique a lot. So now I like to talk about slides. If you rate yourself as a beginner guitar player, so far the techniques I've discussed can be comfortable for you a little bit. But from here, the more advanced techniques are going to involve. From here, where the main difference come for Carnatic music and other forms of music. Slides, gamakas, are these both are same? Means like gamakas means 
also slides but not only slides it is about how we are moving between the notes also it can differ drastically from gamak raga to raga for example in this particular shankara varnam people usually don't slide from sa to re something like this very plainly and uh, in other raga they may do very comfortably very normally actually for this particular raga sa like first we have to get that resemblance then for the re like i like to come from ga to re something like this so if you observe i'm going sa to ga then re there where i'm establishing the main re here means in the language like sa ga re notes are there but we call them as only re something like this sa ga re so we call that as a re for ga like i like to play a little plainly something like i'm still sliding from re to ga like i'm using that previous sustainity to the ga something like you can observe that for ma like i like to use the oscillate between like ga to ma something like this gama 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 pa so but we call as a ma pa pa like yes we can slide from either ga or we can use the previous sustainity and we can move to pa for da like i don't want to play again very plainly so i like to play from sa to da slide something like this da but it's like pa sa da and for ni like we can ask clear to sa to ni between like this ni means sa ni sa ni sa ni sa so for our of no descending also we can use almost like similar gamaka something like this sa you can slide sa from pa also sa ni ta here for da like i slide it from sa to da again sa ni pa pa like i'm playing here a little play for ma i like to use little differently than ascending pa ga ma like this so ga i slide it from ma to ga then re sa so basically here a note is not only itself it can come from previous note or it can come from next note that's how this gamakas works so one should practice this a lot to get mastery in this for example if you are very new to this particular kind of a styles <clears throat> you can take one particular note and practice a lot for example for re re till you getting this kind of emotion you can keep on practice that's how we can develop this particular kind of styles so the gamakas which i used right now are very basic gamakas according to the carnatic music these are just for ascending and descending purpose and of course you can use them but those are not not only the way you can put the gamakas for example for ma i slide it something like this right ma for ma people do gamaka like this also ma pa if you observe like i'm i'm sliding from ga to pa something like this so if you observe like i'm not stopping at all at ma but still it sounds like a ma that's what the very mystic thing here so now i like to play this in ascending order and i'll show you how it sounds really so you can clearly listen that ma ma pa so like that so like that there are plenty ways of gamakas which we can use and in shankara varna ragam there is another method of playing called note method i think this is developed from the western style of playing basically note method means 
we don't play much gamakas those are like more of very plain notes so this is also very accepted in shankara varana ragam so when we are playing note method it sounds something like a very lighter manner when we are playing um gamaka method like when we are using gamakas more like it sounds more intense so for example so you, you can feel very lightness in this when i am using the gamakas here more like so you can feel lot difference you can you can literally listen that very intense when i'm using this gamakas so here i explain few tips you can develop this kind of techniques more by listening a lot you can listen from different instrument players like violin players veena players you can develop in your own guitar fretboard you can listen a lot of composers you must have to listen like chagaraja patnam subramanyam ayer muthu swami dikshit or purandar das and uh, swati tirnal done many compositions so you have to learn from those compositions a lot so by listening only we can develop this kind of a styles if you wanted to learn from any master traditionally they'll make you sit and master will play and you have to listen and copy that that's how we can develop this not by just looking at any theory or something like that you can develop this through watching my video also some of the slides and all you can listen again and again and you can develop this definitely that's all for this video if you like this content please do like subscribe and share so i can do more contents like this thank you